YouTube, it's Ergo, and today I wanted to talk to you guys a little about website analytics tools to monitor sort of visitors in real time. Why would you want to do this first off when you have something like, I, I mean, you get Google Analytics here, kind of an industry tool. Why would you want to do it in real time though? Well, it helps if uh, you know if you're getting a whole lot of traffic all at once so that you can scale servers or just, you know, keep on top of things. You know, if someone mentions you in a YouTube video or, or something like that and it's driving a lot of traffic to your site, it's cool to know about that and sort of see what's going on and monitor it in real time. I mean, I just love watching the numbers grow also. So <laughs> anyway, I, whatever your reason is, I just want to talk about a couple of the different ones that I've been using here and sort of give you my feedback on sort of what's good about each one and what ones I'd recommend. So first I wanted to talk about Woopra. Woopra is sort of the one I've been using for the longest amount of time here. It's, I don't know if it's been, I think it's been around longer than any of the others. I'm not 100% certain. But anyway, it's great in the sense that uh, you can either use it as a, a desktop application like I'm using here, and that's what I prefer. But they have a web version as well, if you prefer that. But uh, what you really care about in all of these things is sort of how many people are active on the site right now. And you see that on Social Blade, there's 64 active people. And uh, you got some nice graphs here and sort of where people are coming from, but uh, I like looking also on the live. If you click on live over here, you get a list of everyone that's currently on the site. Uh, you can interact this way, but I, I like looking at it. You see there's uh, the different countries they're coming from. You see exactly what pages they're on, which on Social Blade, you know, people like to look at their individual stats. But there's a couple of people, two people on the main page right now. And if you click on that, it sort of shows everyone on the YouTube site. Uh, but what I really like on this one is the refers tab and you can see that okay someone came from YouTube over here It looks like there's a YouTube video and I, I could go and watch this video and see what they were saying about Social Blade and also see people are coming from Google Bing uh, there's a website that it looks like someone made a post about and it's just a great way to see in real time you know where people are coming from if uh, there's a big spike in traffic like there was yesterday you could see a whole lot of people who are coming from a specific site and you can see what's going on over there and what caused that moving on though to chartbeat chartbeat is well first off look at the differences here we got 62 people according to Woopra chartbeat says 111 people are on the site I'm not quite sure the big difference on why I mean that, that's almost double over here at the moment so I, I, I don't know what why the numbers are so different it I, if someone from the site could tell me, that would be very interesting. Maybe Wooper has been around longer and uh, people have blocked it with like ad block and things like that. I don't know. Anyway, on Chartbeat, what you sort of get is a much simplified version. You don't get nearly as much detail as Wooper does, but you get this great counter here and you get this great uh, chart up at the top that has number of active people on the site over the course of the day. And you kind of want to, the red line is today, and I think the gray line is yesterday, though I'm not exactly sure what it is. And you sort of see the top pages of what people are on, and uh, you can see what people are being referred from over here. However, it's not quite as easy as finding the exact link. There's also a thing sort of in real time. If you catch it over here on the side, when people are coming in real time, you can find out the full referral URL, but otherwise you can't really do it there. The last thing that's kind of cool about um, uh, Chartbeat is they have a site performance thing. So you can sort of see if there's problems with the load time on your site. And I have a lot of scripts on Social Blade with like the Facebook and Twitter buttons and thing like, things like that. So it does take a long time to load, unfortunately. But um, the server load uh, time here is really great also. You know, low times for that is what you want. The uh, last thing that I want to say about Chartbeat that I really like is they have a feature that you can set up alerts and you can actually get a text message if your number goes above your monthly average. So you can get a quick alert if um, you know, you're mentioned in a big YouTube video or you get on the front page of Reddit or some social media site like that and it's just generating tons of traffic. So moving on to the last real-time one that I use currently, uh, Reinvigorate. This is sort of the newest one. I just set this up a couple of days ago. 
And again, just look at the different numbers here. 60 on Wupra, 105 on Chartbeat, and 129 on Reinvigorate here. So I really don't know the differences, and I don't know which one to really believe. I'd kind of be likely now to sort of trust Chartbeat since it's sort of a middle of the line, but I, I really am not certain. Uh, Reinvigorate, it, I would say it's kind of more of a clunky system. I, I mean, you can get to activ uh, activity here to see recent visitors but it's a, a little harder to actually use. Um, they do have, though, uh, a recent referrers tab that will give you the full video link or website uh, posting here, and you can see how long ago the people came to it from. So that's definitely better than Chartbeat in that sense. But, I mean, in general, I'm not sure I'm liking the, uh, the, the layout uh, totally here. However, they do have this heat maps feature, which works better if I'm in full screen. So I'm just going to full screen there and go to heat maps. And what it'll do is it'll basically load a page and it'll show you what people are focusing on on the page. So it looks like on the main page of the YouTube stats site, people are using the search feature. And I, I mean, that's kind of to be expected. But if you scroll down, you sort of see what people are mousing over as, as uh, you go down the page. And Search is just obviously the number one thing there. You can also break it down by um, uh, specific pages here. So let's just look at Ray William Johnson's page. And you can see people are uh, looking at the video, it looked like over here, or the search, putting the mouse as they're just sort of scrolling around the page. And then it looks like they're really interested in um, the estimated earnings here. So it's just a cool thing to see what people are doing actually on the page itself there. So comparing the different uh, sites, uh, all of them actually now charge, except Whooper does have a free plan. Whooper will let you look, uh, if your site has less than 30,000 page views a month, basically, I, I would recommend Whooper because they will give you that for free. However, if you have more than that, it gets really, really expensive. Uh, at the moment, Social Blade, as you can see, is getting almost a million page views a month. So it costs on Whooper, I think it's around $50 a month to be able to use Whooper. Chartbeat, how they do the pricing is they'll give you up to 1,000 active visitors a month for $10 a month. So it's a lot cheaper, though you do get less stats. However, it's kind of my favorite at the moment here. On Reinvigorate, uh, it's, I think, $20 a month for a million page views. So that shows that it's a lot cheaper than Woopra still. However, it's kind of a little bit more of an awkward interface there. Um, and you can also actually find coupon codes. I found a coupon code for 50% off. Uh, Whooper, by the way, let me just quickly show you here. It does have a web interface also, like I said. Uh, so while I'm pulling that up, um, it'll take a minute to load. There's one other site that I do use pretty regularly here as well, which is Stat Counter. And Stat Counter also has a free version, which I'm using here, that you can't get all the different um, analytics here. It only logs like the last 500 visitors. But it will give you a fully updated um, graph of how many active, or sorry, how many total page views in the day. So you just have to refresh it manually, hitting F5 yourself on here. But you can quickly see how many page views you've had in that particular day. And I, I find this really useful. Uh, so the live interface on uh, Woopra here uh, on the web page, it looks somewhat similar. I mean, you can get the same features you had on the desktop app, uh, seeing how many people are live, the 57 on there right now. And you can sort of see uh, eight are reading, 49 are idle at the moment, and the different pages. So it does have a web interface as well. However, if you have, I think it's a Java, so I think it runs on any OS, but at least Windows, I do like the desktop app itself. So at the end of the day, uh, which one do I really recommend here? It kind of depends on how many visitors you have active on your site. If you have less than 30,000 page views a month, Whooper is probably a good bet since it is free and you get all those analytics, um, you know, all the benefits of all the extra that they give you there. But if you have more than 30,000 page views, it kind of gets expensive and I think I'd probably recommend Chartbeat here. The only thing uh, I just really wish that <laughs> they kind of agreed on the numbers because none of them, since they're so different, 
uh, really tell me exactly how many actives are on the site. So what do you guys think? Do you use any of these tools on your websites? I really love them, um, but yeah, I love looking at numbers in the first place. I wouldn't have made Social Blade if I didn't like that. Let me know what you think though in the comments below. If you use any of them and your recommendations, I'll put a couple more below if I can remember them. I have tested out some others as well, but these ones are definitely my favorites. The Chartbeat and Whoop are probably number one and reinvigorate. I'm probably not going to keep reinvigorating. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. And I'll see you guys again real soon.